We're standing here at the Mary C. Winder Community Center in Oneida, New York. This project's being built for the Oneida Indian Nation. Mary Winder Community Center is an awesome building with a lot of neat architecture in it. It's pretty neat to see what we have now, considering when we got out here last November, it was just an open field, and we've just popped up this big, amazing building out of it. This is an impressive project. When you look at it from a distance, you can see the scale of it. It has a large footprint. I think it'll be a beautiful building once it's all said and done. It's uh, nothing like it around so it'll definitely be unique. A lot of planning has gone into this job. The other day was a culmination of a lot of that planning. We set a 225,000 pound truss. The truss was composed of five pieces. Each piece came out on its individual truck. The heaviest section is 60 foot long in the middle and weighs 60,000 pounds, 200 feet long, 14 feet tall and we picked it with two of our crawler cranes in tandem and set the truss into position. Weight-wise, I think this is probably one of the heaviest. We just had a general safety meeting just to make sure that we knew what everybody was doing. At the start of the lift, they pick it up a small distance, maybe 18 inches, and they allow the cranes to settle to make sure there's no inherent movement. And the easiest way to accomplish that is to do it slowly with a calculated effort. People that get to see these things are always amazed at how slow everything moves. The truss going up alone took one hour just to stand up on its side and then even longer to get up in the air and all put together. It's definitely very rewarding to see it go up. They raised it 53 feet. Connectors go up in elevated booms and the connectors literally bolt the steel to the building. The main truss structure is supported with Gulam beams, creating a nice lodge feel to the building. The wood structure and steel going together is really neat to see. The name Gulam stands for the glue laminated process. When you put multiple pieces of wood together, they are stronger than one single piece by itself. These are some impressive beams. They're about six feet tall. They're over 60 feet long, made up of many, many boards. I don't think they've been around for 100 years, but they've certainly been around for 70 years, and they're used across the world. They can come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, so they can really do some impressive, good-looking stuff. One of the building's interesting features, when it's completed, people that are in the building will be able to look up and see the structural members. We had to install, in one day, per the engineer's requirement, eight blue lamb beams. They're about 8,000 pounds a piece. Everything had to be coordinated to be in the right sequence. We had five cranes going that day between JPW and myself, multiple guys in man lifts, so it was quite the feat, but actually everything uh, went very smoothly and uh, it was a nice showing for all of us. There was an engineering study done to make sure that certain pieces were put in and that was enough to stabilize it before we were able to let go of it. Long day for everybody. Started at 6 a.m. The last members that were attached literally just before dark. Setting this trust for us was a huge milestone. Just really neat to see all that planning and preparation come to fruition. At the end, it was worth it to see the cranes let go and see that truss still standing. We were standing underneath them, watching them. When we saw those lines go slack, it was like, oh, it was a sigh of relief. Everybody was happy that it fit good and uh, we didn't have any hiccups. Clearly, this was done by professionals and it was, it was awesome to watch.